Superman and the Lone Ranger have to team up to stop a nuclear bomb. That should be interesting, right? Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Man from UNCLE. So The Man From U.N.C.L.E. is based off of the 1960s show The Man From U.N.C.L.E. This is from director Guy Ritchie, the same director that brought you the two Sherlock Holmes movies. So this film is about when these two CIA agents played by Henry Cavill and Army Hammer have to team up together to protect this woman played by Alicia Van Kander and try to go out and stop this nuclear bomb that's being created by this criminal organization that they have to stop before it's too late. So going into The Man From U.N.C.L.E., I'm not gonna lie, I was actually hoping to have a blast with this movie because honestly the trailers have been some of the best trailers I've seen in 2015, especially that last trailer. <laughs> I really enjoy the Sherlock Holmes movies. Sherlock Holmes was really good and Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows personally I think is even better. So with Guy Ritchie directing this film I was definitely excited especially with the talent as well. You know yes Army Hammer I know he's been getting a lot of flack for the Lone Ranger but despite the Lone Ranger I do think Army Hammer is a really good actor. He's so underrated and I was hoping this film could somehow redeem himself, not to me personally, but to a lot of people out there. The Man From U.N.C.L.E. is entertaining. But the thing about this movie is that it's more entertaining because of the characters. Let's get to the characters because there's energy, so much energy charisma and energy into this film brought by the performances. The performances are actually what made The Man From U.N.C.L.E. very entertaining. Henry Cavill, great in this movie. Army Hammer, he is awesome in this movie and pulls off a very great Russian accent in my opinion. Alicia Vikander, very great. Hugh Grant, awesome to see him. Been a while since I've seen Hugh Grant but he does a really great job for the role he had. There are no bad performances, honestly, when it comes to The Man From U.N.C.L.E. This is one of those movies where even if the script may not be the best or the most memorable, the performances are what make the movie shine. And that's definitely the case with The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Henry Cavill and Army Hammer have a very good banter with each other. They're always like, uh, picking on each other the whole time because it's like they have they're like frenemies in a way where they don't like each other but it's like they kind of admire each other and I really appreciate that about the man from uncle the movie also does have really well done humor some of the humor actually did have me laughing pretty hard and the action sequences although this is not one of those movies that's really full-blown with action but when the action is there it actually is a lot of fun. A lot of style to the action. You know, I would say in terms of the Man From U.N.C.L.E. style, it is definitely unique from the other spy movies we've been seeing here in the year 2015. It does have a very nice style. Guy Ritchie's style fit for the world of the early 1960s. It's just a nice throwback to the 60s spies movies, honestly. The cinematography for the film looks very slick, framed properly well, and it is very well directed by Guy Ritchie. And the music in this film is fantastic. Even though the movie isn't memorable, at least the music to me is memorable because I thought the music really fit the tone and the environment that the man from UNCLE really brought to the table. The storyline is actually pretty serviceable. The overall writing to the storytelling, you know, it's serviceable. It is very watchable. It's just that I was bored when it came to the storyline and I think honestly if this movie did not have really good humor and characters with so much energy this movie would have been twice as more boring like I said it's just overall okay 
with the storyline and the overall writing and I do think the movie focused more on being very stylistic rather than trying to tell an interesting story so for me the man from uncle I sadly have to say is all about style over substance. The tone for the movie is very uneven too. This is a movie that tries to be both funny and serious at the same time and I think personally how the tone would keep shifting back and forth it just felt very unbalanced and personally for me it just felt pretty out of place in some spots because the movie even though there are some good humor I think the movie in general didn't really quite know where the true balance is. Other flaws I had with the film was that the villains were dull, they really weren't that interesting, and a couple of times how the movie would explain stuff in the flashbacks, just a couple of times, it would feel rather unnecessary. And the last problem I did have with The Man From U.N.C.L.E. is that the climax really was not that great. The pacing didn't feel right with the climax. This wasn't as exciting. Plus, you know, the whole nuclear weapon, bomb storyline, we've seen that done dozens of times. And like I said, I really don't mind cliches as long as they try to do something interesting with it. And they don't really try to go anything interesting with that storyline. It's just the plot that we've seen a dozen times, over a thousand times actually. Overall guys, The Man From U.N.C.L.E. I think overall is a perfectly watchable movie. Even when I was bored, it was still watchable. But it's thanks to the characters themselves that I can at least call The Man From U.N.C.L.E. you know, a decent entertaining watch. So I'm going to give The Man From U.N.C.L.E. two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of The Man From U.N.C.L.E.? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!